This is Cybert signing into Kane's Wrath. On the map, Slippery Slope, which is one that we have seen some pretty awesome matches on in the past, but definitely not a super popular map overall. In the north, in the northeast, this is the red, black hand, this is space! Looking to earn some revenge, perhaps, from the last time he faced this guy, at least on this channel, as the green Reaper 17. Give it up for Bike Rush Owns. These guys have been playing, well, I don't know, I was going to say a lot recently, but recently for me is, uh, you know, stuff that was sent to me in September or October, which is perhaps when this replay was actually sent in. Ooh, a couple of descents on the north side of the map, but also some descents, only two, and a buzzer curving around the south side of the map. Anyways, these guys have been playing a decent amount of 2v2s around the time that this was played. Oh, <laughs> right into the op center. So we've got descents and then either the Reckoner Rush, Flame Tank Rush, some kind of early tech-based rush coming out from space. We did get to see some unusual strats. If you didn't see the last time these guys faced off, it was like a Steel Talons versus a something game. I don't remember the other faction, but it was a wild time. It was a good time, and it was a lot of fun. Space, pretty much perfect scouting pattern with those two Cabal squads. He gets a read on both groups of descents. He snipes the buzzers right out from under them. And now Bike Rush does actually see this flame tank, so he knows what's up as well. Defense is gonna be handled by the Black Hand Squad, possibly some Shredder Turrets as well. Second flame tank, gonna head back for some repairs. Bike Rush owns, has got more than enough time to prep for this. Drops his own nerve center, gives him access to the lightning spike. He may even go for some dev tanks for the defense. He hasn't queued up a, uh, well, I guess he doesn't have a barracks, so he can't get a photon cannon for the defense. But his first seeker tank is out seeking that flame tank. We do have to keep an eye on the second flame tank wherever that one will end up being. Huge delay on the economy, and actually space is just going to go for the tip spike, so we can all calm down a little bit here. The dev tanks are out. Space is pretty much not going to do much more damage than killing a tib spike, at least with that first flame tank. Second flame tank still hasn't actually left the base. Descent's running around the map, and this is a super duper delay to the economy of space. But, Bike Rush owns. What? Okay. So. Um, I can't. Uh, wow, I've never seen someone sell off their first War Factory to get a cash boost, and now Space is transitioning into Man Spam, which is pretty incredible. I mean, he's got out a good number of Harvesters, so he's A-OK he's -O -A -O on the economy front, which means that, yeah, he isn't necessarily going to be producing anything from the War Factory, selling it off doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it makes a little bit of sense. I mean, we have seen people... Uh, cycle down their war factory, power it down in certain moments just to keep it from uh, causing them low power mode. Black Hand Squad comes in, it gets crushed by this uh, by this shard walker. And natural expansion coming up. Again, a delay on the natural expansion from Bike Rush Owns, but he's more one basing it than just a delay on his natural expansion. It's not like a, uh, a regular timing that got messed up he decided to one base it based on the build that space was doing space now cutting a little bit close to that tib spike gonna go for one refinery won't get it barely doesn't get it will cause a little bit of problems for bike rush owns but honestly bike rush owns is probably more worried about a follow-up flame tank that just isn't going to come then actually, you know, there's no real threat. The only threat is within Bike Rush's mind. This has actually allowed Space to get up his natural expansion a bit quicker than Bike Rush owns. And Bike Rush owns, well, he's got the Storm Riders, but of course, Rocket Squads do okay versus Storm Riders. We'll see where the splits go, how the, how the protection of these Harvesters is handled. Space could take a lot of damage from this, or he could cut it off very early. 
One Harvester down, that was the weakened Harvester from the Dev Tank Harass earlier. Second Harvester gonna get sniped. Rocket Squad's coming in for the defense. Third Harvester certainly gonna go down. Sell off of the refinery as the buzzers come in. And Bike Rush owns just crushing the economy of space, but it's about to evaporate just as the SAM sites come in. Nice split on those Storm Riders, and that is going to be the end of that attack for now. Huge amounts of damage for Bike Rush Owns really evens things up in terms of the, um, the huge delay to Bike Rush's economy, setting up that natural expansion. An additional Storm Rider going down right on the tail end of that attack as Space reforms his front line and is looking to renegotiate his position on the map. Everything comes down to the south. That's where his natural expansion is. That's where his tech is. And is he just going to be pushing straight from here? Space, what is this game? Just unorthodox play after unorthodox play. Down one airfield, so it's not going to be a rebuild on as much air as Bike Rush started out with. But he's still got those four Storm Riders. That is still a potential force to be reckoned with. Shardwalker's going to even things out, soften up this force, but I think an obelisk is about to pop down, and those Shardwalkers are going to have no match to the obelisk. Storm Riders and the Dev Tanks are going to be where the real power lies against an obelisk. Obelisk going to be hanging out behind the MCV. Rocket Squad's going to be able to clean up a couple of those shards pretty easy. Maybe a Shredder turret Oz the follow-up, but Storm Riders coming around. They're just going to take some shots. No real damage from the Storm Riders. The cleanup is the buzzers, and one Rocket Squad does survive. Space hurting on the economy, but Bike Rush owns hasn't expanded. He maybe even sold off his MCV. No, he's repositioning, reposturing towards the middle of the map. Maybe go for the EMP. Why did he deploy here? Uh, I'm not sure, but he's got no economy. His field is all dried up. He's got the harvesters. He can start long distance harvesting, but that's still not going to be a great setup for him one way or the other. I guess he can harvest away at this field where the Tib Spike was. That would be a little bit of cash. Space, on the other hand, starting to establish himself in the south. He can almost just lose everything in the north and not be much worse for the wear. Losing the Tib Spikes does suck, but, you know, he's had that additional income over Bike Rush owns this whole time. The advantage has existed for a long time. Obelisk did get sold off, so Space cycling down that defense. And he's actually going to reposition it in the north. He doesn't have any harvesters here, but one Obelisk will eat up a lot of Shardwalkers. Lovely snipe of that Engineer. Lovely just kill there. And Bike Rush owns must be upset because of that. Sam Sight's not fast enough to stop these Storm Riders, as the repairs on that War Factory aren't going to be enough either, it looks like. Storm Riders in too high of numbers. Bike Rush Owns didn't stick with just those four. It's going to cost him two Storm Riders going down. Looks like four managed to escape. So he actually went up to three airfields. A big commitment to those Storm Riders. Tier 2 going to get sniped as, the, as there's not an obelisk in this position to stop this. A couple of descents mixed in here as well. No real problem in the north. It looks like the refinery got taken out. Power plant getting sniped next, potentially into low power mode. Will bike will space go because of this attack from Bike Rush? And Bike Rush owns. He's starting to close in. Now the power plant going down, but no, the obelisk stays online. And that's enough defense. Just barely enough to hold the line. There isn't anything back home. There's the sell-off of that upgraded power plant. And that was what would have done it. If he would have sniped that power plant before moving in, he would have been in a better situation. Where did that MCV go? Did he sell off the MCV and that was the engineer that got sniped? That very, that very well may be what happened. No war factory, only aircraft, only infantry. He can be rebuild the... MCV at any point that he wishes, but Bike Rush's economy has been weak this entire time ever since his main base dried up, and he has done nothing to really address that. Shardwalker could maybe start to work on that Tib Spike, get some kind of value for that. Double Engineer heading out for Bike Rush Owns, possibly just for those two Tib Spikes, and Bike Rush Owns has kind of put himself in a bad spot with that MCV cell with the no expansion in the north. 
Harvester's going to get chipped away at by these Cabal squads, and it's going to force a response from Bike Rochones. He pulls pretty much his entire army away, which does give some additional space for space to continue harvesting that field. Shielded Harvesters at least have a little bit of extra health by comparison. Storm Riders coming back in, but they have to dance right on the edge of the field, and now Mantis is getting deployed to that extremity of Space's field. All right, MCV back online. Pretty sure that's the second one. Bikershone's keeping all three airfields around. He's not going to be discounting any of them at this point. This one stupid buzzer hive has been so annoying for Space. Bike Rush owns just causing problems, and now that Bike Rush owns has the option of taking a second field, he might just power up and take this game away from Space. Lovely steal of both Tib Spikes, it looks like. Space almost losing his MCV as the Storm Riders get close, but are targeting that buggy instead. It's going to be triple Tib Spike, which is a pretty good amount of income for Bike Rush to have. Won't really make up for the fact that he's been missing a tip field this entire time, but the fact that Space hasn't been able to step out across the map and kill Bike Rush Owns means that Bike Rush Owns... Actually, Space is expanding towards an empty field instead of expanding back to his original main base. So Space may actually have some real income problems here as Bike Rush Owns is going to be able to pivot up to the north to his new natural expansion. Manta's going to get targeted down, but of course these shard walkers aren't long for this world. Samsites get deployed, two of them onto the front line. One of them gets jumped on by the descent, and the Storm Riders will escape for now. No war factory in the north, just double refinery from Bike Rush owns. He may actually end up transferring. Uh, he may have already transferred his harvesters. Yeah, he's got five harvesters up there, so he is fully saturated. He's got lots of income there. Some of these SAM sites causing some problems, and purifiers now being added into the mix. The MCV continues to march on forward, and this is putting a bit of a clock on Bike Rush Owns. He doesn't have... Oh, the stasis grabs the MCV, and this is the go moment. This is every descent heading down to this corner. They're going to have to try and surround the MCV. If they can jump on the MCV, then they can slowly wheedle away this Redeemer. Mantis is coming in. And the MCV is going to be the target for the descents on the south side. Closing in if the Rage Gen could potentially disrupt this. Let's see. Lightning Spike on top of the MCV. Perfect move there by Bike Rush Jones to deny the deployment even if space had been fast enough to get it. The descents are going to get cleaned up by the Flamer inside of that Redeemer. But the air units can't be stopped. We need some Mantises here or something from space to clean up this Redeemer, or to clean up these Storm Riders. Otherwise, the Redeemer is going to be forced to return to base, buying Bike Rush owns even more time. He's still got those three airfields up and running. He can afford to give away a couple of Storm Riders, especially if it buys him enough time. MCV may be on the way. No, it's more Mantises coming out for space. Space is out of income. He himself is going to have to start long-distance harvesting even either back to his main base or, I guess, over to Bike Rush's original main base. More Mantises being deployed. No additional MCV from Space. A big reset on the game here for Space. And Space, honestly, the best move might be expanding backwards to his main base, retake those Tib Spikes, and uh, then he's got most of a field. But for the current moment, it's one Mantis versus way too many Storm Riders. Storm Riders jump on the Mantis. Easy kill. And now easy pickoff of that Harvester as well. Up to Tier 3. War Factory. Two of them back online. And Reaper Tripods are out on the field. It looks like no Force Fields on the way at the current moment. But that's an upgrade that Bike Rush owns could add on at any moment and get some extra value from those tripods. And it might be time to transition to a big ground-based army for Bike Rush Owns. He's been having a lot of fun with the air stuff that's kept him in the game, that's allowed him to defend, and that's allowed him to keep space off of his back. But these two guys have played out the first however many minutes of this game, what, 14, 15 minutes, something like that, of this game. So weird that the development path for how you get to this point in the game has been completely turned on its head in this particular match. 
These guys should have been, you know, here at like minute seven, and yet we're just now getting double war factory and tripods this late in the game. Natural expansions turning into main bases almost, at least for space it did. Spike Rochon's going to be losing this Tib Spike. Space will be able to take that back. At the same time, a little bit of a buggy sneaking through, trying to get a scout on Bike Rush Owns. And, uh, well, the EMP may be critical. We'll see if Space is able to clean that out nice and easy or not. Shardwalker is going to make that a no-go. Look at that. Sam site gets deployed before the refinery. He's going to try and defend these harvesters from those aircraft. All right, and now we're into the reverse situation. We've been flip-flopping this game so many times. Who has economy? Who has Tiberium left? Bike Rush Owns has been rocking and rolling on the economy for the last five minutes. Space has been falling to pieces on the economy, but now Space has three-quarters of a Tiberium field under his control. Quick access to refineries. And Bike Rush, on the other hand, who has extended this life of this field with the i Seed, is about to expire active income. He's still harvesting this field in the south. He's got growth accelerators, which give him like 15 credits every five seconds or whatever. Those can be easy targets to snipe down, and this might be the exact thing that space needs. Of course, stealth flame tanks would be even better, but he's playing black hand, so it's not an option for him. Storm Riders swing through. They get a harvester, cleaning up more and more of space's economy, causing him more and more problems, and space doesn't really have a way to chase down and confirm kill those Storm Riders. The, the Mantises just don't have that kind of power, and oh, the flame tank gets spotted out. Bike Rush owns, knows the play, he calls it, he sees the flame tank coming in, and cleans it up. A couple of Reaper tripods, a couple of shard walkers. This could present some real problems for space in the southern half of the map. I think one of these might not be a... Oh, that Eradicator Hexapod is real. Even if these two units aren't, they do actually start to chip away at the uh, shield of these harvesters, perhaps, but nothing else. There isn't, uh, there isn't a whole lot else that the hallucinations can do. The decoy army can do. Engineer taking back that Tib Spike. Bike Rochon's managing to hold on to this Tib Spike for the entirety of the game. Oh! Buzzer Swarm support power gets called in, and Bike Rochon's gets the kill. The revenge for his own engineer from earlier in this game. EMP coils on the Raider buggies. They are ready to lock down that hexapod. And now we are finally at a normal sort of late game stage for this match. But we're getting there so much later than we otherwise would. MCV on the high ground. Bike Rush Owns might have to fight into kind of a weird angle here against space, but he's trying to create an opportunity for himself with this multi-pronged attack in the south side. Defense on the in the north, attacking in the south. Buggy's coming in. The EMP may seal the deal, and there's going to be the lockdown of the production. Nothing else will really be produced actively for, for space. Phase, but the EMP lands. The Eradicator Hexpod going to be waiting out some of that phase time, not doing anything. More and more power plants getting sniped. Space with an obelisk on the front line that's just not doing anything. Rage Gen fires off, and he's going to go for the kill on these tripods. They're separated out from the EMP to Eradicator Hexpod. One tripod, two tripods down, and the third one about to be eliminated. Another EMP as Space manages to hold the line. His own purifiers closing the distance, and the EMPs may need one more to get this thing really locked down. The Eradicator Hexpod, the phase is... is Escapes and actually the EMP locking down Bike Rush as he needs to just eliminate that barracks, stop the engineers from being deployed to take back over those tripods. One buggy goes down, the EMP locks down the Eradicator Hexpot again, barely in time. One engineer has survived for Bike Rush Owns. Most of the husks have been eliminated, and now the Eradicator Hexpod taking damage from every angle. One more avatar goes down, a second gets eliminated. Bike Rush's army has fallen to pieces, but Space has only the Redeemer left. One 
more obelisk it's queued up there's something in the defense queue but the eradicator hexapod goes down the engineer jumps inside that reaper tripod and he gets the emp spaces redeemer may be done for the lightning spike comes in space literally having everything thrown at him the kitchen sink falls in order as bike rush owns gets the kill on the redeemer and space has been defeated the clutch engineer into the reaper tripod husk the revive and the repeat emp what a match a slow burn for sure but an explosion at the end space and bike rush owns providing some incredibly entertaining games late in 2021 these two guys have both been around for a long time but i feel like space in the last year has really powered up to be a match for bike rush owns maybe not every single time maybe bike rush owns still has the edge but space is so much closer than than he would have been maybe a couple of years ago or maybe even at the beginning of 2021 space and bike rush trading back and forth on the economy front and bike rush owns once he secured that natural expansion that was the lead that he needed all coming down to that final battle space had played out the first part of that game carefully enough that he had that redeemer from so early on in the match and that will do it for this game for this video thank you all very much for watching and this is cyber signing out